Hey, what's going on? It's Bill, the HVAC hacker. Today, well, my luck ran just a little short. Not much, but a little short. I mean, I almost had the perfect length, but how was I gonna know when I first ran it? I just left it down here. So, I'm running this line set from up there, tied into the air handler. Only had that little piece left. I mean, it was, it was a good run, but now look over here as I get here. Oh, that almost is perfect, and then I can move it there. But the problem with this, if I tried to move the condenser, I'm no longer gonna be center on my path. I mean, I got a little that way to go, but still not enough. See? I got a little bit of a gap. Instead of worrying about filling all that up, what I'm going to do real fast is just squeeze it so that it's more tighter on the copper. Less of that gap. Not crushing everything. I just want to make it easier for that solder to get in and make a good seal. There you go. Oop, you guys are trying to jump on me. I see how it is. It's all in tight. Could be the slight angle. Let me put the cover on the slim dot real fast so it'll hold itself tight and I'll be right back when we solder it. So let's get this sealed up so I can do my liquid line. Things you don't want to do is goober gabber too much the inside of your fitting, also. Get that hot, turn around, flame over here, and let it pull itself in. You want to make sure you put enough solder to make your seal. Right on the outside. Alright, now I put a little bit of flux on it. Make sure it's all filled in. I don't like the way this looks. It's probably sealed. But right here at the bottom, I want to get just a little bit more solder on there. I don't want to take a chance to find out that's a leaker. That's why you always inspect. I could probably even pull the solder on here down. And it looks like it did. Now let's take a look. 
and it definitely looks better now. It looks like it's got a good coverage there. When I wipe it off, I'm sure that's a good coverage there. These look like they got good coverage. Yep. Now cleaning all this up, I'm gonna take a look. And by soldering, you see it's not too hot. I'm not sizzling on my rag back here by my valve. So I don't want to damage that valve. Down there it's a little hot, but... Let me clean it up. You can see better. Plus you want to get all that flux off. Or else it's just going to make your copper green. I got a lot of boiler maintenance is coming up. I should start to have more videos again. Been doing a lot of big installs. It's kind of hard and boring. I'm making a lot of videos, I know. Okay, now that it's all wiped, that looks good in there. Yep. Yeah, it all looks good. Plus, I'm going to bubble test it, make sure it definitely is good. Yeah, that looks good. It looks like it's all in there. Now, I got to get the liquid line over here. And so, that's cooled off. I always make sure I really wipe it. All right, so now, just gonna let go. This will be here. I'm gonna strap it. Straighten that. It comes down, swing it out a little. It's got to come here. Oh. I got to clean that up. But... Wrong way. That's the way it goes. Push the refrigerant that way. Up and in. Short piece. goal is not to crush it, let the cutter do its thing, it's crushing it as it's cutting it. You don't want to squeeze it and compress the pipe so much, and then ream it out. To open back up that little bit you crushed. Yeah, you didn't see me prep the other side. I figured last minute, let me give you guys a little video. So, that's clean. I cleaned in here already, but I didn't want to spoil it and not show the prepping of this side. I cleaned the filter dryer though.
And this is brand new, so I don't gotta ream the inside. Should I? Nah. All right, and the same here. A little bit on here. Going that way. A little bit on here. Hmm. That in all the way. Yeah. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. Little bit here. Perfect. Then when it's all strapped, straighten this up. Perfect. Let's get this attached real fast. Still wet. I pulled the pins. I don't leave the pins in, even though I'm only soldering. I don't believe in leaving pins in. So now let's get all this attached. And this doesn't need a lot of heat. A little tiny pipe, so. Careful by the valve, that's why I wet rag it. Don't want to destroy your seal. too much in here. Might be a spot that gets missed. Oh, good. Give it a second to dry and cool. But they look like good fittings. Well, thank you for joining me on this little adventure. I go dark every time on that angle. Don't know why, but every time. And now I'm not as dark, but I think because it was focused in here and now all the light behind me. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.